Hey Libra, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of September 16th through the 22nd. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the Hermit, which is Virgo at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this week you may be faced with a bit of a tough situation or a tough decision and I feel like at the end of the day, you know, you are going to feel uh, more relieved once you get through this. It feels like making that decision and thinking about it, how you're going to do it might be the hardest part. But then afterwards, it feels like there's a lot of relief that's coming through. But I do want to acknowledge that some of you could be in the middle of a, you know, tra challenging situation, maybe because of the emotions involved, maybe it's a relationship. We have the Three of Swords, Eight of Cups, Nine of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. So again, it feels like right now, the biggest thing is you're going to make a decision that maybe feels difficult emotionally, but it feels like the right thing to do. It feels like the necessary thing to do. I feel like this is you proving that you are ready to kind of just move on and move forward with your life somehow. And that may require you to distance yourself from something. It may require you to walk away from a situation that doesn't serve you. And maybe at the end of the day, Libra, this week is just the first step of many steps to the rest of your life with more peace, more happiness. Um, so let's just go ahead and clarify that Two of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Yeah, you've been dealing with a situation here for a long time, um, kind of like going through the motions, seeing things not change, hoping that it would change, giving it time being patient you know i feel like you've been very very open-minded and understanding towards a person um, but it feels like with that ten of wands you are kind of tired of being the one to carry all of this on your own and i feel like you really are hoping to you know maybe move in the direction of having a more balanced relationship so i feel like you're just kind of focused on making a decision that's going to move you forward toward true genuine love and connections. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Chariot, which is Cancer, and the Ace of Cups. So yeah, I feel like right now you're focused on improving your, you know, overall kind of like um, happiness and satisfaction when it comes to love. So I just feel like you're focused on that. So that Four of Pentacles could be you feeling a little bit hesitant to make this decision. Maybe part of you has waited for some time before making this official decision, even though you already accepted this a while ago. But again, I feel like this week, you're just kind of like, you know what, I have to now do this. I have to be, you know, intentional. I have to be official with this. I'm going to move in the direction that allows me to attract the true kind of love that I want. So let's see. Let's go ahead and clarify the Eight of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this feels like truly the first step towards attracting true love. And it feels like right now you're saying, you know, if I'm going to find true love, if I'm going to attract true love, then I have to walk away from untrue love, right? So we have the Two of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Again, it feels very bittersweet. And for some of you, it could be very painful initially. Maybe something that, you know, you're still kind of um, battling with if you've already made this decision. But I feel like the universe wants you to focus more on what the future holds after this pain. I feel like that Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands is saying that you have a bright future to look forward to. You have a lot of things that you're working on independently outside of the situation in your work, in your professional life. You have so many projects, so many things that are going to lead to abundance and brand new beginnings and new opportunities and new connections. So while right now this may feel like the heaviest and the biggest thing, that you're going through, I feel like deep down inside, you have to really be open to what this will open up, the doors that it will open, and the things that you'll be able to do once you're fully detached and removed from this situation. Right behind the Page of Pentacles is the Three of Cups, then it is the Tower, and then it is the Star. So Universe just wants you to be hopeful about the transformation that you're allowing with this decision to walk away. Again, you'll be attracting newer energies, new connections. You could already be surrounded by people that want to see you happy, want to connect with you. So it just makes sense that this week you're like, you know what? Yeah, maybe this is the best time for me to officially walk away from this, officially close this chapter and 
you know, be more present in this new chapter of my life. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Nine of Wands. Page of Cups, yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's this only gets better from here. And what you're doing, Libra, is you're allowing yourself to find and attract what truly serves you. So again, you're one step in, into finding true love. We have the lovers, which is Gemini, the sun, which is Leo, and the wheel of fortune. And again, that nine uh, page of cups and then the nine of cups right behind it, then the three of pentacles. So a lot of you are really going to see this uh, week and afterwards that what you're doing is you're walking away from something that is keeping you from what you really deserve, what really serves you again, what's going to make you happy. It's like that wheel of fortune is just indicating this very positive change that's going to allow even more things to happen. So universe is saying, stay strong, stay tough. You're not losing anything. You're only gaining more. So I feel like for a lot of you, this is going to be a very big week because again, it feels like a shift in the right direction. A difficult decision is going to be made. You're going to have to deal with a lot of maybe difficult negative emotions, painful emotions, but all for the purpose of moving you forward to what really, really is, you know, um, deserving of being in your life. And I feel like the happiness that you're going to be or that you're going to see is going to truly make up for it in the long run. So just stay strong. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.